Oh shit! We get to try out our M60 on a military horde. Did he? Oh man! Okay. Die suckers. Oh shit! We should probably- <laughs> Oh no! No, 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 no! You are not getting a piece of old guy today. Welcome back everybody to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming and we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. Alright, so uh, in this episode, we're going to make some stuff. And uh, I've already got um, materials queued up uh, to make. So let's start with our 4x4. We have all the parts now that we need to make the 4x4. And so let's get that going. Be done in two minutes and 48 seconds. What do you know? And then in this workbench, I have enough parts um, queued up to make both an M60 as well as um, a tack rifle. And in both cases, we can um, make a blue level because of our uh, our machine gunner uh, level four. Um, so let's go ahead and grab all of this, and we're going to start crafting the M60. And we're also going to do the tactical assault rifle. Now, what I'm going to use the tactical assault rifle for is our sniper rifle. <clears throat> At least until we can get a real a real sniper rifle. It's interesting, too, that this, this thing actually, a blue level tack only costs 10 steel. It seems to me like it should cost a lot more than that. I'm not complaining. I'm glad it's not that expensive. But you would think, you know, it should cost more than that. But it doesn't. Um, so we'll get that going. Actually, you know what we ought to do is let's make this in here because um, it'll go faster because this is almost already done. Okay, so now once we get the Jeep, what we're going to do is um, we're going to go down and see how well it fits in our little garage down below. And if it doesn't fit very well, we're going to have to... Uh, um, enlarge and uh, enlarge and yeah, we're gonna have to enlarge it. We're gonna have to enlarge the garage. But of course, that's something I would do either off camera or on one of the building episodes. Um, so the garden is um, waiting for us to plant it. I have um, how much do I have? I got 75 plots so far, uh, but we get, we still need more than that. We're gonna need over 200, uh, I think, if I counted right. Um, so, you know, we're continuing to collect rotting flesh whenever we get the opportunity to do so. And so I might start laying these out, though, in the next building episode and at least get, get them started because, you know, we can get some of them going anyways. So I think we'll do that also as uh, one of the next things in the next building episode. And then in regards to that, too, the next step for the, for the house here is to get our roof on. <clears throat> and so um, those, are, those are kind of the three things that we have. Uh, plan for the next building episode. Okay, so let's see. I am making steel. I need about a hundred and two or no 109. I need 109 steel in order to place the uh, four Wait a minute. Hold on a sec. 24 96. 96 is what I need. <laughs> okay. I was like totally scattered right here. Uh, we need 96 to place four more steel hatches down in the horde base and get them all fully upgraded. Because the one that's there is already fully upgraded. I think we might need to repair it, though. I'm not sure what to see. So anyway, I've just been making steel like crazy. As you can see, we've had one screamer come in so far, and I was able to snipe her um, from a distance. So she didn't call in a horde. But even if she does, I mean, we're ready. We've got, um, you know, upgraded iron spikes all the way around the perimeter of our place here. We've got iron bars so we can shoot down. And I am just completely not worried about it, even if a Screamer Horde does come in. Um, alright, so, let's see, we've got, we got cement making up in there, we got iron in there, I'm, um, this is our bullets, but I'm also doing some more jars too, because uh, I had to go make a bunch of glue. And we're waiting for this lead to smelt, and then we're going to make a bunch of buckshot and bullets. Uh, we have a really good supply right now of... <coughs> Excuse me, bullet casings. So we have over 3,000 bullet, uh, bullet. Yeah, bullet. Boy, I can't talk tonight. What the hell, man? <laughs> I'm not drunk, at least not yet. Um, yeah, bullet casings. So we're doing really good with the with that stuff too. So we, 
in the last building episode, uh, we went out to the desert uh, to look for rotten meat. And in the process of doing that, we also um, went to the uh, to Trader Joel, who is right here. In fact, we need to mark that too. So he's our fourth trader now. And uh, we are now in tier four too, by the way. So let me use this one and we'll mark him. And of course, now that gives us four traders that we can check, you know, their inventory uh, for things that we need and so forth. And as far as quests go, we have we have a tier four fetch and clear at the waterworks. Where is that at? Tier four fetch and clear. Oh, that's all the way back over in Trader Joel's town. Well, Trader Joel one, because the desert trader is also a Trader Joel. Uh, okay, so yeah, we got that going on. So we might get to that quest later on in this episode. We'll just have to see how things go. All right, how are we doing on our stuff? We got ourselves a 4x4. Isn't that a beautiful sight? 15 seconds left on the TAC rifle and 33 seconds left on the M60. So we got to figure out what we're going to do for mods on these guys. Uh, we're going to retire uh, the AK for now uh, so it, we can take all of those mods off of there. And we will probably just end up putting these two, probably these two for sure, on the M60. And we're going to also want to put uh, another one of these on the uh, the tack rifle because that helps with our, our spread. And I don't know, obviously we, we want to scope on the tack rifle. I only have 4X scopes, but we'll eventually come across a better one. And then... The TAC rifle by default is a three round burst. So I think, I think this would probably, you know, for accuracy would be good to put on the end of the TAC rifle. And then for the M60, um, I'm not sure if we could put a reflex sight mod on an M60 or not. I'm pretty sure we could put a laser sight on it though. So if we can't do, I'd rather do the reflex, but if we can't do the reflex, then we'll put the laser sight on it. Okay, let's put um, our blue AK. We're going to hang on to it for now. And look at that, you guys. Holy crap, we got ourselves a blue M60 and a blue tactical assault rifle. It's a beautiful thing. Absolutely wonder, super, for l Okay, never mind, I'll stop. <laughs> it's good. It's a good thing. Oh, man. I don't know what's the matter with me today. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um. Okay, so anyway... <laughs> Let's continue out here. Oh, my God. All right. We'll put the scope on. We'll put that on. And we'll put that on. And then for our M60. Um, oh, it is going to let us put the reflex on. Beautiful. Okay. So we'll put the reflex. Wait, what? No, it doesn't let us put it on. Okay. Dog on it. All right. Well, um, not a problem. We'll put these three things on then. And uh, that will get us our M60. So... Uh, in total, let's see how many rounds this sucker will hold with the drum magazine. 121 rounds. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We're going to just kick ass and take pace with this thing. I'm so looking forward to it. Uh, and, okay, so it does a damage of uh, 73 damage. Um, yeah. Oh, boy. We are going to shred with this thing. 73 damage. Okay, let's do the uh, load up our sniper rifle here. See, that's pretty decent. Um, you know, the site's closing in fairly quick. They still don't go all the way in, though. I wonder if we, we probably have to have a marksman or a sniper rifle for that, unless that's a function of the 4X scope. I'm not really sure. So we're still not going to be able to do really precision long-range shots with this, but it, it should work, you know, for now um, as, a, you know, as a makeshift uh, sniper rifle until we can find a real sniper rifle. I do have some marksman rifles, and I have the ability to make marksman rifles, but I can only make an orange one because of the fact that we haven't put any points really. Well, we put one point into sharpshooter, and that's it. Sharpshooter, what the hell is that thing called again? I can never remember. A uh, dead eye, yeah, dead eye. Okay, cool. So we uh, we are locked, cocked, and ready to rock. Um, since we can ca uh, hold so much ammunition now, we should probably carry a couple of stacks additional stacks of 7.62s with us. I think that'd probably be a good idea. Um, for that reflex sight, 
there isn't really anything else gun wise that I would want to put that in so we're just gonna hang on to that for now um, if we get a, a, a blue or a purple pistol I'll probably put it put it on that um, or a desert vulture if we if and when we come across one of those okay cool so guys we are moving up in the world man we got ourselves a 4x4 we got blue machine guns um, now one thing too that is that I am you know I'm currently wearing uh, tough guys so if we and I don't want to necessarily wear those all of the time I like to wear you know these these two mostly so if we take the tough guys back off we're probably I think I think we're gonna drop down to so, so back down to level three on machine gunner uh, uh, it, it, we'll know that if this turns red and I think it will so let's just take a look and that's fine because I mean I, I, I mostly wore these just so I could make the blue guns okay now let's take a look and see what it says uh, we want machine gun yeah see now now it's actually down to, to three which is fine I will probably because we're gonna be using these weapons quite a bit I will probably actually put real points into um, seven so we actually have level four uh, for real um but at least you know we were able to make it and we still have level three which isn't bad a uh, level three gives us uh, 50 percent faster fire rate 30 percent more damage uh, 20 percent faster reload and then each shot scored with automatic weapons gives two stamina back so pretty good pretty pretty good okay let's see here um let's just keep cranking out the steel um, like I said, I think we need 96 in total. And once we have enough of that, we'll go into town and we will um, upgrade the horde base and get it ready because it is now horde night day, but only, you know, 12 o'clock in the morning. So we still have lots of time. Let's put these back in here for the moment. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go check out our 4x4 and see how it does um, oh you know we're getting kind of low on gas too we uh, we're gonna probably have to go do some more oil shale as you can see I put these hatches in here because it I, I got to thinking I said man if we happen to get you know either a wandering horde or a screamer horde in the tunnel they'll come right on up those stairs at me so I, uh, this might be just a temporary solution uh, but at least for the moment, you know, we got these hatches in place so that we can, um, we have to kind of duck to get under them, but that's fine. You know, so that we're somewhat protected. Actually, we can leave those open for now. Oh, man, look at this beast, you guys. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to come out here. Oh, I also planted some trees over here, too. Um, as you can see, just a whole line of trees, which we'll cut down. I can make a blue chainsaw too, um, but and and I probably will do that eventually. But right now, I, I want to. The next thing we need to do with our steel is we need to make sure we're ready on our horde base. So, okay, so let's go ahead and fuel this up. Whoops. This guy uses lots of gas, man. I used all of that gasoline. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go get some more oil steel. Look at us, you guys, in our bad 4x4 self. Okay, let's head on into our tunnel here. Oh, you know what? I probably should move the motorcycle out of the way, huh? I love the sound of that engine. Deep rumbling engine. Okay, let's grab all of this and uh, we'll pick up the motorcycle. Okay, so we can pull in here. I mean, we can we can make it work, but it's not ideal, you know. We might even want to kind of stay pointing at an angle to get out. The other thing I was thinking about maybe doing is putting, you know, maybe putting some garage doors. I think this thing can go through gar the garage doors. I'm pretty sure it can um, up here. Or the other th idea that I had... Um, earlier on was we, we put drawbridges down so we you know dig ourselves like a big trench here and we put a, a drawbridge over it 
uh, which we could also potentially do. <clears throat> what we really, what I'm ultimately really planning on doing though, is just putting the turret down here. So that way, if something comes in, the turret just takes it out. Um, that would really be the simplest solution, and so then we don't have to, you know, go to the trouble of building the drawbridge and all that. Not that that would be trouble; it'd be kind of fun, probably. But anyway, we'll I'll I'll continue to think about how I want that to go. But, you know, in looking at this, what we probably should do, I mean, there's two ways we could do this, or maybe a combination of both. We can make it a little bit longer so, you know, we have a little more of a smoother transition coming through here. Um, and or we also make it deeper. But if we decide to go the deeper route, we're going to have to go far enough back to where we can drive underneath the stairwell uh, to make that part work. So I don't know. Let's let's do this. Let's just try it again. We're gonna come out this way. A little steep there. Oh shit! The tree, <laughs> the trees just just grew up. Um, I probably shouldn't have uh, planted them so close to the road, huh? Oh, well, we're going to cut them back down anyway, so that was weird. Okay, so we're coming home up the road this way. I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> okay, so we come in here, and, you know, if we, if we just made it a little bit longer, you know, then we ha we'd have a little bit more of a gradual turn just to get in here. I mean that works. It certainly does work. It's not it's not perfect, but it does work. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to think about that some more. I'll have to think about that some more. Let's pull it forward just a little more here. Okay, let's go upstairs and grab um the steel that we have that we're making. And that should be enough for us to do the upgrades at the Horde base that we need to do. Got some stuff up here to sell too, but um, I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. Okay, let's get something to eat. Close those for the moment. I made a bunch of boiled meat because I'm getting kind of low on canned food. Well, I should say I'm getting low on canned food that I, I'm willing to eat. I want to save, you know, most of this stuff. I mean, the, the chicken soup or the miso is not a big deal. At least I don't think that's used in other recipes. One of the things the game should do is it should tell us when we click on the can of food itself if it's used in a recipe, which it doesn't do. I don't think. Can, can, a can of high quality sham, a lunch of sham, was crafted in lots of five. Yeah, okay. There's probably a joke or something behind lots of five, but... It's escaping me right now. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments if you guys know what that actually means. Oh, man, this thing's going to kick ass and take names. All right, guys, let's head on down to the Horde base and get that upgraded. And then we'll probably just go ahead and cross on over to the uh, waterworks and just and knock that out uh, for the latter part of this episode. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, all the candy and stuff is going to, and the money is going to go back into the, the 4x4. Four four. I'm going to grab a little more steel just in case I miscounted, which I'm famously known uh, for doing. Wait, what? Oh, that was weird. We don't need to keep those closed while we're gone. Is that just one Zeke? Oh shit! We get to try out our M60 on a military horde. Did he? Oh man! Okay. Die suckers. Oh shit! We should probably. <laughs> oh no! No, 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 no. You are not getting a piece of old guy today. Not gonna happen. Oh man, that drum magazine is just blessed. Hurry up, reload, quick, quick, quick. Suck it, spider. 
Whew. Okay. Well, that was a good way to start off our um our inaugural firing of our M60. What the hell? We got a concussion. Okay. Well, we got tons of vitamins to fix something like that. I couldn't tell at first if there if that was just a you know a single zombie or if it was a bunch of them, but then of course it turned out to be a bunch of them. Uh, medical products. Let's take a vitamin and kiss our concussion goodbye. That didn't make our concussion go away. We don't have a concussion. We have another problem. What the hell is it? Yeah, we do. Oh, painkillers, not vitamins. Stop. Got it. Painkillers. There we go. <laughs> It was vitamins. I was just thinking it was vitamins. Can't take me anywhere, you guys. Cannot take me anywhere, I swear. Okay, let's drink one of those and maybe one of these to counter the pill we just took. Okay. Let's replenish all the ammo we just shot. This sucker's going to be expensive, too. <laughs> but that's right. We have the means to make lots of ammo. Okay, let's try this again. Off the side of the mountain. Someday we'll do that yellow quest. I want to also make an impact driver, but I, what am I going? Oh, we need to go this way. Um, but I want to get, you know, a couple more points in salvage ops first because right now I can only make an orange one and I'd rather make a little bit better quality one. Oh, our 4x4's first victim. It's a good feeling. I am still going the wrong freaking way, aren't I? We need to go west. Jeez Louise. Oh, hey, I, was gonna, I want to show you guys something real quick. On the uh, building episode, I was over here looking for stuff and this is a new POI at least it's a new POI to me I have never been in this place I don't know what tier it is but at some point I want to check it out even if we just do it you know on our own without it being a quest so yeah that place looks pretty cool we'll have to check it out all right so we need to get on the highway heading west oh shit there's a bear. There's a bar. <laughs> I know. I'm easily entertained. Okay, I want this bar. So, how many shots does it take from attack rifle to kill a bear? Is he facing us? I can't tell. No, he's not. He's got his, his butt to us. The question is, can I kill him? before he gets all the way to me and takes a swiper three. If he does take a swiper three, we're gonna switch over to the M60 really quick. Oh man, look at the durability. How much that went down. Hmm. We're gonna have to watch that, aren't we? Okay, here's a headshot. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> all right. We killed him quicker than I thought we were going to. That is freaking awesome, guys. Freaking awesome. Okay, we got ourselves some bar meat. And we'll get some testosterone extract or whatever the hell that stuff's called from this thing. This guy, too. So we got two. Cool. All right, nice. And uh, 50 pieces of meat. Not bad at all. Yeah, this thing's packing a punch, isn't it? Only downside to the Jeep in comparison to the motorcycle is it's a little bit slower, but that's right. I'll take a little bit slower for 
the massively increased storage space that it has. That's the best thing about this vehicle. So yeah, we'll go get our herd base ready to go. Um, I need to check our ammunition too. I'm, I can't remember if I left any ammo down there or not. So we need to look at that and then make sure, you know, we have enough for the next, for tomorrow night, or I guess I should say tonight. And then we'll go hit that waterworks. Damn, there's another bear. Like nine of the bears or something. Okay, I can't tell if his head's facing me or not. I think it is. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, we weren't quite hitting his head. Plus, that damn tree being in the way didn't help the the situation. Yeah, we, we lost a little bit of the meat from him, too, for shooting him a couple of extra times afterwards. That's all right. Sometimes it happens. Let's uh, put this other extra stuff in here, too. Man, look at all that storage space. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Okay, we'll put all that stuff in there. We'll put all the candy in here. And uh, we're good to go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, get all of our hatches in place. And then, uh, like I said, we need to, um, or, or I need to uh, check our ammunition level, too. And I'm, I don't even know, I might not have any ammunition in there at all, so we'll take a look at that and then make sure that we're prepared. So, yeah, it's, it's going to take them some time to break through all of these hatches, particularly with them, you know, completely upgraded. Each one of these suckers has 21,000 hit points once it's fully upgraded, so. Okay, and then um, we'll put the last one here. Okay, so that's taken care of. Let's take a look and see where we're at. Uh, with the uh, the ammo, oh, I don't have any ammo in here at all. <laughs> okay, so we got to make sure we remember to bring ammo for uh, for hard night. Okay, I couldn't remember if I'd taken any out or not. How much steel do we have left? We only have four left. Okay, I might uh, also bring some more steel with me and get the these all upgraded to steel um, as well. Oh shit! Another bear. What the hell's going on with all the bears? Dang. All right. Um, let's take them out. Do they actually have bear hordes in this game? There we go. I was trying not to shoot, oh, overshoot him. Uh, you know, because if you do that, then you lose some of the harvest. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, the last two bears have been a lot harder to kill. I might, I must have just had like a lucky crit or something on that, that first bear. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we do get bear hordes. Okay. Anyway, let's um take a look at our quest now. Fetch and clear, make this the active quest. And yep, yeah, it's over in this town. Alright, I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, let's uh do a quick double loot here.
Get anybody's attention? I don't think so. All right. If we can pull these guys one at a time, that would be ideal. All right. We just got... Is that just one Zeeker or multiple Zeekers' attentions? Looks like we have a couple. He dropped a bag. Go down, darling. Feral darling. Alright. Hopefully that's all of them. Let's uh, switch to these. Okay. And then we'll get our M60 ready in case they're or a couple more that we didn't didn't get. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's check the large ammo pile. Okay. Some acid. A little food action there. I already know that. A nail gun. Look at that. Found a nail gun. And then the big chest. Alright, what do we got? Compound crossbow. It's kind of a low level one though. Okay. Nothing super great, but not terrible either. Let's get rid of that and then I'll take those two things. Okay. Well, guys, I don't think I can get through this whole POI in enough time uh, to keep it on this episode. Um, I mean, I could go through it, like, super fast, but, you know, just because we have the M60 doesn't mean we, we still can't die. <laughs> so um, let's just do one more thing here, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and cut the camera uh, and in the episode, and then we'll just start the next episode up with... Um, with starting this the quest for real uh, but there is a i think it's a working stiffs or a shotgun messiah in here i can't remember let's check it really quick that's a working stiff oh yeah that's a i mean we got a blue shovel already but that's not bad oh i, I didn't save room um or make room rather what do we want to do let's eat this and we'll take the shovel i mean I suppose this we could take that instead, because who cares about a level one knife, right? Okay, yeah, so guys, I think that's it for this episode. I'm going to let you go here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And uh, in the next episode, we will pick up right where we left off. You know what? What the hell? We might as well, we might as well loot these air conditioners. Where are you? Oh, shit. You came from that side. Usually they, they come out around that corner. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I still got to make room. All right, guys, anyways, I'm going to let you go. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.